guys, and welcome to another episode of Versus, the show where I take two champions, pin them against each other to see who does more damage in Hydra. First, let me collect these here. Magic is magic open. Magic is open. Okay, I'll be doing this pretty soon here. I'm working on the the uh, Mary's missions on my second account, but one thing that I wanted to do was see how Thor stacks up against Harima. And I'm gonna do two runs. I'm gonna do Thor versus Harima, Harima alone. But I also already know that some of you guys are probably gonna say, like, use Harima and Makage together because in reality, when you're going into Hydra, you would probably use them both, right? I mean, let's be real. But this is supposed to be Thor versus Harima specifically, so we're gonna run that first. And then I'm gonna run Thor versus Harima and Makage. And uh, we'll see how they do. Keep in mind, this Rima, 5-star blessing, plus 2. Savage, Thor, 5-star blessing, not plus 2, but in a merciless set. So let's go ahead and dive in. Um, for those of you who haven't seen his gear, this is his gear. He's in merciless, giving him 35% ignore defense with a 30% chance to decrease a random school, uh, school skill cooldown by one turn whenever he deals damage. Biggest thing, 35% ignore damage. I would like to get a 9 piece on him, but some people were saying that because Hydra's turns are limited, you more than likely don't want to do 9 pieces. You could probably do something like Mercy, like 6 pieces if I could get 2 artifacts here, which I don't have. Uh, 2 artifacts down here and then a Cruel set to give him 40% ignore, which also would be a really good um, way to go about it. But let's pay attention to the specific pieces of gear because I know that a lot of you guys want to see that. We're focusing on, as, and I've said this before in my other Thor versus series, this might be the last Thor versus that I'm going to do. I think it's time to move on from Thor. I think we've, we've already established he's an absolute beast of a monster. Now we have speed on speed here. You'll notice the defense with the HP percent. I've said it before, said it many times. Thor is a very squishy champion. Crit damage on crit damage for the amulet, of course. Attack on attack, no Titan. Now uh, we do want crit damage with crit damage here. This is absolute. We're looking for attack percentages. And when it comes to his base stats and HP, very low. That's why we stack him with some survivability stats. Um, unless you just have like a really good synergistic team. Now, when we go into Hydra, our true stats are going to be closer to 63,000, almost 6K attack. We're still working on that. We're still working on that. It bothers me that it's not 6K attack. 251 speed, 100% crit rate, of course, and then 345 percent crit damage it is also important that you do stack him with some accuracy we have him at 230 but it's not the highest priority and that's because he actually places this decrease res so for harder fights think brutal hydra where they last a little bit longer decreasing the res of those hydra heads uh, that's gonna be very helpful and it means that basically thor is able to go into the fight with less accuracy however when the heads do get decapitated it resets so this doesn't last forever but it's still nice to have plus with the decreased speed you definitely want to have some accuracy to place that so that nature's wrath can kick into effect where every time he inflicts damage he gets a damage boost up to 15 percent plus let's also just mention that he gets an increase by 30 percent for each thunder stack that he has which does reset at 10 and he goes through this pretty quickly. But his money move here is his A2. And I think we already know what this does. By like the, the fourth hammer hit, I think. Fourth or fifth. 100% um, extra damage. So there's that. And then a chance to repeat his skills there. As always, do not blindly copy masteries. But go ahead and feel free to blindly copy these masteries. Taking Helm Smasher, of course. Counterattack masteries here. Let's look at Harima. Prima, Savage Set, here are the pieces of gear, pretty much the same thing, you're looking for high speed, high damage, her damage is based off of defense, I'm gonna max this out here pretty soon, but I'm waiting for the mission, crit damage, we got crit rate on this one, I'm still on the fence about if I should change it to crit uh, damage, if I can rework her later on, we got defense on defense, speed with some defense, defense on defense with the ring, crit damage on crit damage, defense and HP, now granted, I do think she's a bit outdated in terms of um, uh, the way that I have her set up. I'm planning to rework her a little bit later. All right, and then Harima in Hydra is going to have 56,000 HP, 7,900 defense, which is where her damage is coming from. And I really want to get that to 8,000 pretty soon here. 287 speed, 
342% crit damage. Resistance at 419, 274 for the accuracy. And fully booked, we're taking Ward of the Fallen. But if you have a different suggestion other than Ward of the Fallen, let me know. And then for the Masteries, of course, we're taking Helm Smasher and then the Counterattack Masteries as well. This is pretty good here. Okay, and now we're in a Hydra run. I actually recorded this. This is from last week. Now, keep in mind, there are going to be some heads that are negative affinity for both Harima and for um, Thor. I mean, but right now it seems like it's in Harima's favor, but, you know, sometimes the spirit affinity comes up. It just kind of just differs between each um, rotation. But right now, it's stacked against Thor because there are two heads that are force right now. He's equal affinity with the magic heads, but... Um, and he just went down, but we have Siffy here to bring him back. So let's go ahead and scoot a little bit forward to see. We have one spirit there, two magic affinities. Let's see what we're doing here in terms of damage. So we're looking at 233 right there. We got a provoke up over here with Harima. Harima's really good for for uh, for provoking against the Hydra. What are we looking at here against Thor? Serpent's Will procced, of course, or... Of course, we have Serpent's Will here, so no damage is going there. 556 five, against Spirit Affinity. Weak hit for 30k there. 172 on the equal affinity. Prima is doing 147, 152, 166 against equal affinity on the decapitated head. That's with decrease or with increased defense, but no decreased defense or weaken here. All right, so Thor is about to drop his Hammer of Heaven. We're looking at 96 here, 150 there, 168 here. Karima going in again for A1 at 183. Okay, and here is pretty far enough into the fight where I believe that Thor and Harima have both charged up. We're looking at 91, 74, 72, 170. And then Harima hitting for 151, uh, 208, 173, and 206 on the end. We're looking at left to right. So by this point, they would have charged up enough. Harima with her A2. And with Thor with his um, his blessing as well as the thunder counts, but you know the thunder stacks kind of uh, are wishy washy. Looking at weak hitting for 133, 221 there, 270 right here, and 231 on that head over there. So let's skip to the end. Give you guys a little bit of a look see here. Okay, now everybody's dropping dead here, and. Let's see what the final results were. Okay, final results. We're looking at 216. This is on hard. 216.72 million. And Harima did 46 mil, while Thor did 74.7 mil. And Cupidus did out damage Harima this time around. But again, uh, Cupidus is plus four paired with Venus. I don't think if he was paired with Venus that, you know what I mean? It's the same thing like, oh, if uh, Harima was paired with Mikage, it would be a different story as well. But for this round, Thor wins. Keep in mind, um, he did have some negative affinity heads. And then I ran it again just to see if there was going to be a difference or how much of a difference there might be. Same exact team. It's on hard again. So let's let's let this play and see where we're at. So we got lucky here. 1.4 million, 449 against the spirit affinity. And then against the negative decapitated head, we only hit weak for 178. And then 308 again here. That's coming from Thor, so pretty nice. Let's see what Harim is doing. And we're looking at 408, 404, then 247. 240 coming from Shamael. And we'll check this, 383, 273, 79, and then four, oh, 424,000 from Thor. Oh, Harim is hitting beautifully. 1.1 million, 394. 95, 1.2 million here, and then almost a million here on this head. These are heads that she is uh, equal affinity to. Uh, she's stronger against magic affinity. So, all right, so let's skip a little bit forward and see. Okay, so again, same fight around the same amount of time. Thor did 88 mil, Harima did 67 mil. And like I said, a lot of people are gonna ask, okay, well, why don't you put Harima and Makage together? because of Makage's A1. The AI is still kind of messed up against Hydra because sometimes the Serpent's Will buffed head is gonna come out and ally attack hits that specific head. And it's just like, dude, there were so many other heads he could have picked and he chose that. So we're hitting for 100, 127, 127 here. 
And we're sk gonna skip ahead to see where we're at. Closer to the end of the fight at 885 turns. Again, Harima and Thor have had enough time to charge up. So let's see what they're doing. 46, nothing here. Uh, 91 here, 88 there. And Harima's doing, let me see, let's back up a bit. Harima was doing 157, 273, and 178. Okay, and then now he's about to do his hammer throw, 225 right there, and a bunch of weak hits again. Um, well, this one was the poison cloud, and then these two are negative affinity. And as you can see, Mikage, every time she attacks with her A1, Harima goes in with the ally attack, so it's going to add to the amount of damage that Mikage is going to output. 539 with the A1, she's nasty with it. Bunch of weak hits here, Serpent's Will's there. A1, 469, Serpent's Will heads here, and I still thought that they were going to change the Serpent Will here, because to my understanding, it was only supposed to be one head that becomes impervious to damage that gets the Serpent's Will buff, but I don't know why if two of them come out at the same time, the Serpent's Will buff <laughs> protects both of them from damage. It's kind of annoying. Okay, and so we actually hit the turn limit here on Hard Hydra, 338.5 million, and Thor did 103, Harima did 140 mil, so about 37 million more than Thor, and I'd like to attribute that to Mikage being in the team. But to be honest, if it's just Thor versus Harima, I gotta give it to Thor. Yes, yes, yes.